Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and this video we are going to pull our shards hoping we pull Deox. Uh, today is a 1 plus 1 on uh, Sacred and you have the chance to get one of those three. To be honest, these are the only three good ones uh, from the faction Unity ones. Deox is still the best. The problem with Deox is that he is only good in... Uh, he's good in uh, Classic Arena and Hydra. Live Arena, he requires like lots of setup which is not possible and can easily be broken. Because you have to benefit from this, and the, the thing about it is that you have to pick Romanto as an example, and if they ban Romanto, it doesn't work, right? But he still does hit hard. The problem with his damage, it comes from having lots of debuffs and lots of faction champions, which can easily be broken. Like, you can't rely on landing debuffs on live arena, on an arena, because you're going to get shaped. And if you bring in more faction champions, they can just easily be banned. This guy is actually decent. The, the best part about this this guy is that he boosts Marius in Live Arena. So if you pick him with Live Arena as your third support, you know, like you pick in Live Arena, you pick three support, two new cuts, he can be a great support because he does decrease defense. Okay, he does hit AUE. And this one has a stun. Uh, to be honest, as well, in one of the Centranus stages, I think the double mortal one in Soul Cross, he is the only CC champion. Not just that, he's the only CC champion. And a stage where it has double Morto Macabre. So if you are into Centranos, he's good there. And in Live Arena, he has a use, okay? He has a use because he doesn't just stun. He stun. And if Marius is with him, he also strip. Or, uh, or like, you can bring him with Marius and Wukong, okay? So if you have three, two faction uh, allies, he's going to strip, stun, and fill the turn meter by 15% for each debuff placed by this skill. So if he plays it on four, that's that's lots of turn meter. That's a lot, okay? So he's the second best. This guy is the third best. He is kind of a solo champion that does poison and HP burn, which I think he is the only one in the entire game that does that. Uh, there is Teox that does poison and extend and activate burn. But this guy has poison and burn together with a good aura. Usually, like, solo champions have a bad aura, except with Corvus, he has the... Uh, he has defense aura in all battles. Bad L has a scuffed aura, technically. Uh, Tomb Lord has a scuffed aura as well. So, is he good? Yes, he is good if you are into PvE and dungeon, dungeon solo stuff. And I think that's everything about him. I think he can easily solo uh, Ice Golem. He can solo Dragon. And he can solo uh, Spiders. So, which one would I pull? I would much love to have a Teox. Teox is my second most wanted non void champion after... After Harima, Harima is still my number one most wanted champion, followed by this guy. I wouldn't be mad if I pull uh, uh, Boland. I would be fine if I pull this guy, but what I would be mad about if I pull an eighth bad Elkazar, okay? So, uh, what, how many are we pulling today? Let's take a look at the Summon Rush. Uh, I still need to get these 25, so and these 25, so technically I need... 11 sacreds so i think i will do eight sacreds and we will pull some ancients after so without stalling let's just go and pull so we, i said eight so we're gonna go to 15. i think i'm 12 on mercy so let's hope we pull one if i don't pull i'm gonna keep pulling once we pull we can switch and first one is an epic he's not bad uh Bobus. i think he has a provoke or something no remove one random debuff Attack all enemy with decrease crit rate, crit, decrease crit damage, decrease the speed on A1. He's not bad. Like, he's he's fine. Uh, second one. Okay, we pull another epic Zargala. I actually do like Zargala because I do want a plus 4 Zargala because she is one of the good epics. She has this ability where if she kills, she, she give you this as a bonus. Like, if she kills with A2, she just throw A3, which has decreased defense and does hit, uh, does, does hit for good. Okay, let's keep going. Another epic. Who would have thought uh, Skull Crusher? He's not a bad one. He's one of those epics you want to pull early in the game. So you can have like, uh, he can unlock uh, the uh, Kaiden. Kaiden isn't bad because he empowers this epic. What's her name? No, not Teal. I think Heal. Yeah, he, he empowered the Gwyneth. So, so you make sure you have eight of them. Four to empower him and four to empower the Gwyneth. Nine, I meant. So, let's keep going. Another epic. Just give me the legendary, bro. Necro Hunter. I think he's one of the worst ones. 
I I don't think I've ever seen like a reason to build this guy. Let's keep going. Ah oh, man, dude, I'm deep into the mercy. Just give me the thing so I can stop. Uh, she's not bad. She's like whatever. Okay, she's not bad though. She's whatever, but she's not bad. Another epic. Who would have thought? Uh, Hexy. I don't know about this champion actually. I've never like looked into their kit. Attack one enemy. Kills this champion by 15%. Attack one enemy, grant an extra turn and place 50% increase attack buff on this champion for two turns if this attack kills an enemy. So you have to kill. Usually these abilities hit hard. Damage increases by 7.5 for each debuff on this champion. This will never happen. Stacks up to 30%. Yeah. I'm assuming if the condition is met. Oh my man. Where am I at? Uh... I'm at 20 now. Just give me the legendary, man. <sighs> Claude. Is it still? Yeah, it's still 1 plus 1. It's, it's right here. Event 2. <sighs> okay. Mr. Rider Dithy. He's good. Okay. You need to build 2. Okay. So don't. Don't don't empower him. You need to build two. Ouch, man. We're like 22 into Mercy now. Kytus, he's he's good. He's one of the hardest uh, hardest hitting epics, I think. I think it's this ability or something. I'm, uh, unless I'm. Yeah, this one. This one. Attack all enemy two times. Damage increase according to the amount of HP this champion has lost. So he is, if he's at 1% health, he nukes. He hit insanely hard. I don't think we get it. So this is going to be an epic. Uh, useless epic as well. Let's keep going. Bro, this is savage, man. Okay. Okay. What? Oh my robot now? Okay, my salad. Okay, my salad is good. Okay, I do need a my salad. Let's be honest. I do need this guy. This guy is great. He is one of the best PvE nukers. He like the stuff that he does, nobody else does. So it was a bad pulling. Because it took us like uh 25 into Mercy. What the heck? Pl Platinum. I wanna I don't wanna say like some rude stuff. 25 man. Ah, oh, now we're back to nine secrets. Cool. Uh, why Mashalad is good? Uh, because of this ability. Okay, no, not this ability. Attack one enemy has 80% chance of stealing all buffs from the target before attacking. So, you you target one head, one one cha one champion or one Hydra head. You steal all the buffs and then you put heal reduction on them for two turns. Place two continuous heal buff on this champion for three turns as well on a three turn cooldown. Damage increase by 50% against targets that have no buffs. So once he's slipped, his damage is multiplied by 50%. Okay? And this one has a good multiplier. That's not the end of it. Uh, his A2. Place increase the speed. Increase crit damage for uh, on all allies for two turn. Okay? On a three turn cooldown. Uh, then grant an extra turn. That's not it. Okay? Place fear and... Sorry. Place two fear and leech. You need leech in Hydra. On all enemies for two turns. Then grant an extra turn. So... Buff, buff all allies, debuff all enemy, then grant an extra turn, and then nuke with this one. Or you can literally just use an A1. So because he put true fear on the, uh, let's say, on the enemy, on the wave enemy. Okay, let's assume it's PvE. Attack one enemy, heals all this, this champion by 30% of the damage inflicted. So he, he can heal himself by a lot. Will attack enemies under leech, which means he will single target attack uh, the waves. So in stuff like Hydra, he won't get punished because Hydra does reduce the AUE damage by 40% because he's going to use his A1 and single target each one that has Leech, which is which is a place, by the way, remember, right? Yeah, places. Because he doesn't hit here, it's a place, so it's just like the 30%. And remember, we had a, a fusion last time. Uh, where is he? What's that stupid fusion? Yeah, this guy. This guy is a is a bad version of uh, of Masalad. So if you think this guy is good, Masalad is much better. Uh, no, not this one. Summon rush. How much did we get into? Well, you know what? I actually want to pull more. How many do we get? We get forty. 
so if I pull 60, I can get those. I think I can. I, I, I want to do that. Okay, one second. Let me make some space and be right back. Okay, we have down around 60 space. So 6 by 4, that's 2400. I think I want to get all the books, to be honest. I would like to get those one, like those two mythical books. Uh, I think I'm too far from getting it. We are at 7,000. We need 3,000 more points. So what we need is basically uh, 3,000. 3,000 divided by 40. That means we need 75. I don't think I will do 75 now. Maybe we do like one sacred and a bunch. So let's see. Let's see what we will get. Okay. Uh, mercy wise, let's look at let's look at the mercy on this. I don't think I'm close. Wow, all the raids. Who would have thought? Senesha. I do need more Seneshas. Uh, we are at 49, so technically we're very far away from uh, having a legendary. But we will get close to Mercy, so we don't regret that because this is a good this is a good event. If I want a specific champion, it's not specific though, but I need the rewards. Like I need the mythical books because I'm close. Okay, so let's just keep going. Uh. What are these raids? Just give me epics. Stupid game, please. Uh, any of these raids worth talking about? I don't think so. Let's keep going. I, I was hoping we get like a bunch of epics, to be honest. Uh, wood painted. Wood painted is a an epic I'm looking to empower. Same goal for the Borangiri. Uh, and I think we are done. Let's see the points. Uh, summon rush. Ouch, we're not even close. Look, we need three secrets for this. I don't want to pull secrets though. Okay, let me let me check the space and be right back. Okay, so we bought 30 more space. Let's keep going. Let's let's get the 30. Hopefully we get something. Man, I really need a Teox. Like, like I'm saying that because I need the mythicals. No, guys, don't believe me. I literally just want Teox. Adriel, is she any good? Increase accuracy. Wow, ouch. Heal all allies. Reflect damage buff on them. On a three turn. Ouch. Attack all enemy. Decrease attack. Okay. On a four, on five turn. Has 100% chance of the attack critical. Speed in all battles by 21. Oh, it has to be magic. Uh, I don't think I have her. Because I fed her multiple times. So I think that's why. Uh, this is a savage summon pull. Not gonna lie. I don't like it. I went too deep into Mercy for not getting anything. Hi, Ketun. I believe it or not, I don't have Hi, Ketun. I fed her a long time ago. And I, I've been trying to pull one. So, uh, I will take it. No, it's not I will take it. It's just I'm just extra salty. And I'm trying to justify me pulling shots for no reason. Let's pull the last 10. Cast Gator. Old Hermit. Her old hermit jorg i build him i never regret that i think he's still good especially if you need a reviver and uh, or an increased attack champion or an epic that boosts turn meter he's one of those how many are we away to get all the books let's see oh it's so close uh to just 200 right just 200 uh so that's five Let's, let's just do one by one. Number one, legendary? No. Number two? Dude, I pulled so many today. Oh, he gets scammed. Uh, I built this raid. He's actually one of the best raids in the game. No, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm confusing it with another one. No, no, no. I'm confusing it with another Sylvan Watcher one. Ouch! Stop giving me this. Just give, just give me Teox so I can get a, go away. The Teox justifying all the bad pull we had today, guys. The last one. And yeah. <laughs> this is our shot pulling for today. Hopefully your shot pull was much better than mine. Because mine is, is arguably one of the worst. Okay. Yes, we get Mashald, but look how many we pulled. Uh... Let's get the tomes. Three mythicals, three Legos. That's fine. Uh, chickens. Who cares about chickens? Fragment. We get all the fragment. To be honest, the biggest, the best reward is the six star speed glyph. That's all I care about. Yeah, and pulling Teox. <laughs> uh, 
man that was rough that was a rough session not gonna lie <laughs> i'm so salty right now uh it is no dungeon divots tomorrow right yeah it is champion training but no dungeon divots uh what did we get today we got these stuff wow we get 10 hammers 5 rarity 50 gems hey totally worth it guys totally worth it getting five gems i i wasn't planning on getting this soul but now after i pulled all of these i think it's worth it because getting the 75 accuracy with the crit damage and tons of stats is always good as long as you can afford it it's expensive but if you can afford it you know why not so yeah thank you so much for watching hope your shot summoning was better than mine just so mine it's a bit savage and yeah best of luck if you haven't pulled and hope you get something good if you pulled and i wait wait i finished fragment right right yeah let's just summon her and tomorrow we have a champion training so if you haven't maxed out your thought champions you still have tomorrow if you go here fusion we still have a day and eight hours i have mines ready it's just one which will tomorrow will just get a bruise and be will get just instantly maxed out thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video Peace.